If you've watched Puella Magima Noka Magica, and I assume you have since you've watched this video and you paid attention to the spoiler warning, the show has probably impressed you with its visual style and some of the twists in its plots. Uh, as was I, quite impressed with the show. However, that's the thing. I've come across a lot of people who think that Madoka Magica was like the first anime to do any of those things. So in this video, I want to share two anime series in particular that I think were very influential on Madoka Magica because they share certain elements with it. The first is Revolutionary Girl Utena, an anime series from 1997 that is a classic of the shoujo genre. It's, about, it's not really important what it's about, actually. Uh, what's important here is the visual style. Utena has this fascinating, almost abstract art style to it, where the backgrounds fade into white in some places. And there's a lot of abstract visual imagery and specific visual symbolism. Things like roses crop up a lot in the series, as well as other images like swords and uh, other symbols along those lines. Madoka Magica shares a visual style quite similar to this. You see chains repeated over and over in Madoka Magica, for example. Um, and you also see this in some of the backgrounds, which share uh, Utena's very artsy approach to its art, so to speak. But the reason I'd point to Utena as an influence as opposed to other artsy anime is the fact that Utena is also something of a deconstruction of and certainly a thought piece around shoujo and girls' media and the role of girls in their media. Much as Minoka Magica is sort of a critique of the magical girl formula, so Utena uh, deals with how girls are portrayed in media, how often girls are frankly, an object to be fought over, and has a similar structure to a Magical Girl series, although it doesn't follow quite the same tropes. The other anime series I'd point to is 1998's Serial Experiments Lane. This was a strange experimental anime series, sort of a techno-thriller, but what's important about it uh, here is that not only does it share a strange, very artsy visual style, the ending is pretty similar. Now, here's where I'm going to spoil pretty much the entire ending of Seal Experiments Lane, so if that bothers you, cut out now. Lane is faced with exactly the same problem as Madoka. She has this all-powerful ability, and things have kind of gone wrong, catastrophically wrong. And more importantly, both Lane and Madoka make the exact same decision with effectively the exact same results. They decide to erase themselves from the world um, because the world um, would be better off without this whole situation. But they both continue to exist as memories in the minds of their best friend, basically. Now, why do I think this is a particularly relevant reference? That's because Lane, while not a huge success in Japan, appears to have left quite a mark on the anime industry. A lot of folks within the anime industry watched Lane and were very impressed by it, to the point where Production IG, during one of its anniversary anime series, hired much of the staff of Lane and said, if we produce something that's even half as good as Lane, I'll be satisfied. So Lane is one of those shows that certainly people are aware of, and so if they're referencing anything, and if that plot lines up pretty closely, you can probably bet that that was an influence. So there you go. There are probably other anime series that influence Madoka Magica, but those are, I think, two that are useful to uh, look at. And if you like Madoka Magica, they would be certainly be two shows that uh, I think you'd find interesting. And uh, if nothing else, certainly interesting to compare and contrast with Madoka Magica. Now, there are also two different shows. Uh, Lane is a quiet, creepy thriller. Uh, Utna is this big, bold, very 
oddball kind of an anime series, very intentionally so. Um, so they're not going to be like Madoka Magica in that way, but certainly I think they were things that um, led us to Madoka Magica. So hope you found that helpful, and thank you for watching.